The alleged suspect uh, has been killed. We are told that he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound inside a family home here on Woodland Drive in Pleasant Hills. Now, the home in question was surrounded for about three hours tonight, and this is the closest that we have been allowed to the crime scene. At this hour, there are still crime scene investigators that are inside the home looking a little bit more into this case. Here's how it all started. We do have video as this was all unfolding tonight. Around 6 o'clock, police first responded because an old Older man had been shot. We later found out that man is in his late 70s or possibly early 80s. Police say he was allegedly shot by his son, a man in his 40s. That dad was rushed from the home to an area hospital, and he is in stable condition at this hour. Police and the South Hill CERT team then surrounded the home here. The alleged suspect was inside. Police believed he was alone, but he was not surrendering. By 9 o'clock, which was three hours later, the CERT team did get into the house. They found the suspect dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We were able to speak to one man who was out here on these streets as it was all unfolding. I was standing at the top of the hill, me and my brother, all the cops come flying down, they come running down, the one cop ran down the street with a shotgun, they come running up about 10 minutes later with the elderly gentleman um, on a stretcher, man, and the next thing you know, every, all, this, all this happened. Now, the neighbors were never evacuated, but anyone who was trying to get back into their homes during the standoff, they were not able to. Police did tell us, though, that no one else was ever in danger. At this hour, we're told county police are going to be taking over the investigation and looking into a possi possible motive for this case.